I love being black. I like when people say black, 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 black. I don't, <laughs> like truly, I don't, I am content with, with where I'm at. We recognize as white women at Elon, a predominantly white campus that we have privilege due to our race. Privilege and race affect our peers around us, specifically our close friend, Britt Mobley. Britt's testimony helps us to define what it means to be a black student at Elon. What does the word privilege mean to you? Privilege to me really means that you afford an opportunity not because of anything that you have done, not of anything that you have proven, but just because of who you are, right? And of course, in a race context, it, 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 it is determined by skin color, right? Um, I went to school in Southeast Raleigh, which is usually like, you know, if you really go to the Southeast part of any city, that's usually where um, there is that kind of low income population. It was very, it's very funny because we look back on it now and it's like, wow, my brother and I laugh to this day. It's like, wow, we really did go to the school in the ghetto. <laughs> like we could heard stories about people, you know, having fights or, you know, gunshots happening. It's like, oh yeah, as a fifth grader, we, didn't, we never thought about it. We go down the street, play tennis. You know, my mother loved having us having a diverse experience on one on the south side of Raleigh and then living on the north side, so it wasn't an issue. In high school, I really only had white friends. I was really kind of deprived of what I thought blackness was and what I thought race was um, and how that decided to affect people, right? Um, and it wasn't until I got to college. The transition for me from those two different worlds, of course, was um, very eye-opening, right? The, the starting point, of course, was the murder of George Floyd, right? Once I finally got the, I guess, courage to watch the video, I sat and probably cried for 20 minutes. I've never sat and cried for 20 minutes before because one of the larger things that was just kind of constantly going through my mind is that that could have been me, right? It, it, it could have been me, it could have been Blake, especially, uh, Blake is my younger brother, by the way. Blake jogs through our neighborhood every day. And there was a constant time where we were like, Blake, don't, don't go jogging, just work out here. So coming to Elon and transitioning from more of a, a diverse mix to a predominantly white institution, it was very, it hit me hard, it hit me like a bus. And it wasn't until we had our Com Fellows ice cream social, that's when it first hit me. I, I was the only black male in, in that room. And I was like, well, it's just me right here. Like, like, it's not a problem that it's predominantly white, but truly there is no one else in this room that understands what's going through my mind on a day-to-day -day basis. Oftentimes, in, in the newsroom, uh, it's usually me, Naomi, and Chloe out of the, the, what, 15, 20 people that are usually in there, right? And so once you finally take the scales off your eyes and, and take, the, take the blindfold off and, and notice that this is actually happening is when you're hyper-aware. And I'm out of that hyper-aware stage. I'm, I'm comfortable. I'm fine. Coming from your childhood, how did those getting involved in Odyssey and stuff like that kind of aid in you keeping that, keeping your identity, keeping that part of yourself here at Elon that's so important. Odyssey came about and, and it really kind of at least fit our situation and, and um, fit our story and, and we have um, different opportunities to, to be together and just be surrounded by people who understand. And I have come to find that there are people who do not look like me that understand, right? How do you like provide your perspective on life and your background and your race into your extracurriculars. I serve as the sophomore class president and then I also serve as assistant secretary. So I definitely have a different lens on, right? Have a different perspective, right? As everyone does, but uh, my race is that, is that largest, is the largest overwhelming um, lens that I often have. We have a bunch of black senators. We, we, could, <laughs> we made a group chat, called ourselves the Black Caucus, right? Uh, and oftentimes we're the only ones speaking up, right? Because we have to, one. But, it's like there, there's so many things that I wish Elon understood and could understand that would not necessarily make my life easier, but would um, make me appreciate Elon more than I already do. I have to watch in the way in which, in the way in which I hug people, even with my residents and going in, going into their suite, right? I have to make sure that there's more than one person there, <laughs> right? Once we finish this interview, right, you can, you can decide that I don't have to think about this, right? Um, and 
that is nothing against y'all. That's not a bad thing. It's just a privilege that you have, right? It is never a break, it is never a thing that I can just say, you know what? I'm deciding not to be black today, <laughs> right? Um, after these cameras are off, after, after, you know, the sun goes down and you go back to your room, what, 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 what are you going to be thinking about? I will be, I will personally be thinking about what I'm about to eat and uh, how my residents are doing. But subconsciously, I will be thinking about, okay, how am I going to be getting through this next day? What do I have to do and how do I have to present myself so that I can be successful? Because of what? My race. I don't talk about it, I don't cry about it. I, you know, I, that's nothing I'm, boo-hoo. No, I'm black and I love to be black. Black coffee, no sugar, no cream, baby. Like that, truly. I have no issues with being black. I love being black. I like when people say black, 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 black. I don't, <laughs> like truly, I don't, I am content with, with where I'm at.